Sorry if today's video is a little bit later than usual. I've been busy finding a new apartment, I've had my sister visiting from out of town, and Pokemon Go has come out and is fucking fantastic when it works. I haven't been able to get on since about launch, but that's a story for another video. Today, I wanted to briefly pay my respects to a wonderful game that slowly bled out from a self-inflicted wound. You may know it for its recent anniversary, Cube World. The game was, or is, an ambitious voxel-based RPG, with the website citing influences such as Monster Hunter, Zelda, Minecraft, and Diablo, and a few others. It plays as an open-world exploration-based RPG with randomly generated maps, terrains, bosses, and dungeons. The game features eight playable races, including traditional ones like humans, elves, orcs, and dwarves, while also having less common ones, goblins, undeads, lizardmen, and frogmen. These have no bearing on gameplay, merely offering a base for the simple character customization. Classes, however, do define playstyle. There are four classes. Warrior, Ranger, Mage, and Rogue. Furthermore, each class has two specializations that change them a little bit, like whether you want a warrior focused purely on dealing heavy damage, or to block damage with a shield at the cost of raw damage, or whether you want a stealthy rogue, or just a pure DPS one. The game focuses on more than combat. There is a large emphasis on exploration and gathering loot and resources. The player can obtain tools to ease travel, a boat and a hang glider, and can tame pets to fight with and ride. Cube World released on July 2nd, 2013, with its last update on the 23rd of the same month. As of writing, it is currently July 6th, 2016. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. It's been almost three years since the last implemented update. Additionally, the prolonged silence of the developers slowly killed almost all hope for the community. It wasn't until June of 2014 that we got any real update on the game through a video. This video demonstrated a new quest system and a few other small features. After that, it was almost complete radio silence until developer Wale began tweeting small things, like new factions and features in late 2015. As of writing, the last sign of progress was an Instagram post showing how currency would work in relation to weapon upgrades, posted about three months ago. Lack of communication from developers is one thing, but the total lack of even a minor patch in three years is shocking. Even with how much I love the base version of the alpha, how the game has been handled sometimes make me feel a bit like I've been scammed out of my $20, and based on what I've read around, I'm not the only one. The greatest shame in all this is that Cube World isn't a bad game. Even in its extremely early stage, the bright graphics and sense of exploration proved extremely enthralling. While far from perfect, the combat is a little simple and the long walks can get dull, it still can prove to be entertaining while listening to some music. The store on the official website has since been closed, stating that we will reopen the shop as soon as possible after the next Cube World update. Honestly, through all this time, I've been hoping for the update. Some said Wally is a bit of a perfectionist who favors waiting to push out a large amount of work at once, but he has to understand that there are dedicated fans who paid to help him develop the game, and the best way to keep them happy keep income supporting the game, and to keep developing the game, is to be transparent and to push out updates more regularly. I can't wait to see what becomes of this game, and can't wait for the new update so I can fall in love with it all over again. If you're watching this, Wally, please don't torture us too much longer. We love your creation and want to help you as much as we can. It's the whole, help us help you. I hope I can cover this game more in the future, and I'd love to sit down and talk to Wally about the game at some point. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this, I'm sure you know how it works. New subscribers are always welcome, obviously, as I run a small channel and any and all support is immensely welcome. And if you want to directly support Ghostbones, check out my Patreon. Until next time, hopefully not in three years, beautiful people. Okay, let's try Pokemon Go one more time. Sign it. Mother.